Tough questions from members of the Economic Matters Committee of the Maryland Legislature for leaders with the state's appraisal commission and the Department of Labor. The group gathered earlier addressing issues raised in our November report where some homeowners in Prince George's County claim their homes are appraised differently because they're black and live in a majority black neighborhood. Hunter Pickles is the chief policy officer for Maryland's Department of Community Development. We've seen and heard the same stories that have prompted this hearing. I, I can uh, understand the family's frustration. Some of that frustration turned to the state's commission of real estate appraisers who handle appraisal complaints. Representatives were unable to answer questions about appraisal bias complaints and the demographics of appraisers throughout the state. Of the uh, 2096 uh, home appraisers and then the 1,000... I mean, 1,306 home inspectors or, or African-American, African-Americans, yeah. So that's not uh, information that we, we uh, record. Delegate Marvin Holmes was at that meeting. The appraisal organization, appraisal commission, had no answers. But they kept defending themselves based upon the fact that they respond to complaints only. Persons are a little bit leery in making a complaint because they fear there may be ramifications in getting the loan. Holmes is drafting plans to create a commission to further look into the issue and address these claims. Here's a rough copy of the delegate's proposal, but work is already underway at the federal level. The Biden administration launched a task force on property appraisal and valuation equity. Members of that task force recently joined seasoned real estate appraiser Ayako Marsh on a real home appraisal to get a better sense of how the appraisal process works and where issues in the process may lie. They shadowed me and my assistant as we went through and interviewed the homeowner. We took interior photos and did exterior measurements of the property. Then they uh, followed me back to my home office and we kind of went over some of the areas of the appraisal that are just simply fact, like the age of the property or the type of property that it is, and the areas where it's more subjective, like um, location, your selection of comps, and the rating of condition and quality. Um, and that's the, um, the primary areas that if you're talking about bias, that's where it's going to happen. The committee has yet to schedule its next meeting, but is still waiting on mandated data from the Department of Housing and Community Development that will give them hard numbers on who's being affected by alleged appraisal bias and where. Larry Miller, WUSA 9.